mad at myself. You know what I'm saying? I'm kind of mad at myself because honestly, I didn't film yesterday. I was supposed to film a video yesterday, but I didn't. I didn't. I'm supposed to go straight through the whole month of January, n dropping nothing but bangers. Banger after banger after banger after banger, but I didn't do it. You know what I'm saying? So I missed the day, but it's all cool. It's all cool because we back at it again with another one. You feel me? So uh, right now, we actually back at it again with actually a sad video. So I came so yesterday I seen this. Uh, I seen this pop up on my feed, but I didn't I didn't even record it because I just was doing too much But I didn't record this but it say George Floyd needs a shot in Houston now first off Houston is starting to look like Chicago I'm not even gonna lie. It's so much stuff that been happening in Houston, bro I'm scared to even go to Texas you feel me like but I know violence is everywhere But it's like dang you hearing more stuff in Chicago and Houston, Texas than Detroit or Michigan or you know, just so much different things happening in Houston and Chicago, so much bad things. You feel me? So many kids getting shot, bro, and it's sad. You know what I'm saying? Now, I don't care. Honestly, bro, regardless of who she related to, I don't care who her family member is. You know what I'm saying? I, you know, me personally, I have things against George Floyd, but that's just me. That doesn't still justify the point that his little niece done been shot okay it don't justify that at all i don't care about what george floyd done did because this is right here is about his niece now we're gonna go ahead and watch the video and see how all this uh paul how all this occurred because i didn't watch the video you know so i don't know how this occurred i don't know how she got shot you know what i'm saying so we finna just see how she got shot man and then i'm gonna get my thoughts on it man um it's a sad situation. It really is. All these kids just getting shot, bro. People not shooting their target. They just shooting anywhere and everywhere. And they don't even care about shooting their target no more. It's just, hey, whoever gets shot, whoever. I mean, it's just like, hey, if you in the way, you in the way. You know what I'm saying? They don't care about shooting their target no more. They don't care about that, bro. They just shooting everybody, bro. Little kids getting shot left and right. It's crazy. Uh, but anyways, man, hit the like button, subscribe, turn on post notifications, follow you, bring all social media platforms down below. Without further ado, let's get it. Let's go. This morning, a little girl shot in her Houston home has been identified as the niece of George Floyd. Wait, hold on. She was shot at home, bro. At home? Bro, people can't be at home, bro. This is the safest spot to be at, and we can't even be here. <sighs> in her Houston home has been identified as the niece of George Floyd, the man whose murder at the hands of Minneapolis police officer Derek Chauvin set off a national movement. Four-year-old Ariana Delane now recovering from her wounds. My daughter don't know. I can't explain that to her. What happened? You know, you're the father for to be able to take the kids. Police say someone sprayed the apartment with bullets early New Year's Day, but the family believes the home was targeted. <laughs> it's the same apartment seen here, where George Floyd's family gathered last year to watch the Derek Chauvin verdict. We got a hit right here, and we got a hit here. The gunfire punctured Ariana's lung and liver, breaking three of wow. her ribs. She was sleeping at the time. My daughter jumped up and said, Daddy. I've been hit, and I was I was, I was shocked until I seen the blood until I realized that my four-year-old daughter was really hit, and she don't know what's going on. She was asleep. Ariana's father says he called 911 around 3 a.m., but he says police didn't show up until four hours later. He Bro, what? First off, hold on. First off, let me. <sighs> this is crazy. Police didn't show up to four hours later, but. What's crazy is the fact that she was hit in her apartment. That's that's what's crazy to me. You know, me personally, I'm thinking, okay, maybe she was walking, you know, walking in the wrong hood, got got seen, got thrown in crossfire, you feel me? Because that's possible. You know what I'm saying? You can be walking at the wrong time and get caught in crossfire. I'm thinking she got caught in crossfire. All this happened. Bro, she got shot in her home while she was asleep. She was asleep. She's not aware of nothing. She's asleep at 3 a.m. in the morning. 3 a.m. She's knocked out sleep. And you telling me she got shot in her sleep, bro? And then on top of that, police didn't show up to four hours late. That's the problem with see me personally. That that's just my problem with police. I don't care about all the things they, all the things that people have against them. Oh, they shot black people. Black people, they, they do that. Black black man. I don't care about all that. You feel me? Like it's just a simple fact that some of these police officers don't show up until this amount of time later. You know what I'm saying? Luckily, I stay in the suburbs, so they show up mighty fast, you feel me? Because, I mean, they right down the street. But if I was in the city of Chicago, which, you know, that's the city I'm speaking of, you feel me? If I was in the city, oh, man, you might as well drive to the hospital yourself. I'm just, 
I'm just saying. It's ridiculous. People can't even be at home and sleep in peace without getting shot because people are blindly just shooting. Like, they they not even trying to shoot the target, bro. They not even shoot, They just going in and just shooting. Come on, man. Houston police now launching an internal investigation into the response time. Uh, if he had a child, that's the only way he going to understand how he really feel. Ariana had surgery and is in stable condition. Police do not yet have any suspects. Hi, everyone. George Steph. Of course they don't. They're not going to have suspects until about two, three years later. Uh, first off, uh, I'm glad she's okay. You know, so I'm glad she's okay. But four years old, she might remember this moment. She will remember this moment. You know what I'm saying? I know. I don't know exactly when the brain start developing with babies, but I, I know they start to remember things like this, like traumatizing events like this. She's going to remember this. You feel me? She's going to remember her being shot because also it's going to create a womb. You feel me? It's going to create a scar. It's going to create whatever it create. I never been shot before, but it's going to create some type of scar, some type of thing, and she's going to remember it. She's going to remember this moment of her being shot. She might not remember how she got shot, but she's going to remember her being shot at a young age. And this is sad because now we creating traumatizing events for young people. You know what I'm saying? When I say that, bro, it's like so many young people. I seen this video the other day, and I might react to it. Even though I watched it, I, I'm, I might still react to it. Uh, This dude admitted to sleeping with a nine-year-old. He admitted to that. Like, he, um, like when I say he admitted to it, bro, he sat there and said, I've been sleeping with your nine-year-old sister, and I have a theme for younger girls. Like, he said it without no smirk. He, like, he said it like it was just no normal. I was confused. I'm confused. I'm like, huh? Boy, you 40 years old, sweet boy? Huh? And you said it like it's like just no problem. Like, oh, yeah, I've been sleeping with your nine-year-old sister. Idiots. Idiots. Just like the people, just like the people that, that shot her. Idiots. Straight idiots. I don't know who shot her. Black, white, whatever. But they still idiots at the end of the day. Idiots. Y'all pray for Houston, bro. Y'all pray for Houston. Y'all pray for Chicago. Y'all pray for any any city that's like just going down bad. Like I never expect Houston to have this many violent situations. You feel me? Like Texas just, in general, this many violent situations, bro. School shootings, all types of stuff, just violent situations. It's getting worse in Chicago. Texas is supposed to be one of the states that I just want to visit just because. I'm starting to look at it like Chicago now. It's just like, why would I visit that state? You feel me? But Anyways, man, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hit the like button, subscribe to no post notifications. Uh, my condolences go out to her family. I'm saying it like she passed away. She didn't pass away, but, you know, I'm still just, I know they're still mourning over the event. So, over the tragic tragic event that happened. So, you know, my condolences go out to them, man. Uh, regardless of who her uncle is, I don't care. You know what I'm saying? I don't care. She should st she still never been should never been shot. This should happen to no child. You feel me? No adult. It shouldn't happen at all. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hit the like button, subscribe to no post notifications. It's been your boy the pan. I love each and every one of y'all. God bless. Stay blessed. Peace.